through. Slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for this video, we are going to do a level 1 noob with a light fruit. So we were able to get a light fruit, but Gamer Nom, this game looks different. Yes guys, we're gonna play Blocks Fruits today, but don't worry, I'm posting a King's Legacy video, so watch out for that. And for more requests, tips, and guides, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. First off, you need to defeat 5 bandits. So using your light sword, okay, so don't worry, you don't need to unlock that. You can lure the bandits and defeat them easily. You need to lure 5 at a time, so you can just lure 5 on the other side. But guys, there's someone training there, so I chose to do it here. So level up fast until you reach level 10. Guys, this fruit is one of the best for beginners, just like me. So there you go, when you reach level 10, you can now go to the jungle and start defeating monkeys. But guys, I suggest, basing it on my experience, start the monkey quests when you reach level 15. Why? Because the good thing with Logia type fruits such as light fruit, the enemies cannot damage you when you reach a certain level. So for this mob, it's level 15. So after level 15, you can start defeating, yes, the gorillas, but again, level 20 is the best level for that. See that? They cannot damage me. There you go. And at level 20, I can start fighting the Gorilla King. But guys, uh, when you're fighting bosses, mini bosses such as this, they have hacky. So they can attack you even if you have, uh, what do you call this? You are a Logia type fruit user. So take note of that. When you reach level 31, shout out to this bully. <laughs> anyway, when you reach level 31, you can now go to the pirate village. So the best time to start grinding here is when you reach level 35, I guess. Because check that out. They can damage me and they're kind of strong. So when you reach level 35, start grinding here and everything will be a lot easier and faster. Okay, so next up, Brute. When you reach level 45, start going to the Brute. I'm gonna show you how to lure them. There you go. You just need to lure 5 at a time because you need 2 sets to finish 1 quest. Okay, there you go. Make sure to locate all the mobs first because the previous players that farmed here, sometimes they try to hide the other mobs which is kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so after that, when you reach level 48, you can unlock one of the skills, the Light Barrage. This one will be helpful. Oh, let's check it out first. There you go. And after this, you can start grinding again. Okay, so when you reach level 55, you can start defeating Boggy the Clown for faster leveling up and defeat enemies until you reach level 65. Now is the time to go to the desert. Again, 65 is the time that you unlock your Logia effect. And after that, it's very easy to grind and defeat boss, uh, boss mobs here. Okay, so do this until you reach level 80. And you can now start defeating, yes, the desert officers. For this quest, you need to defeat 6, so you just need to lure 4. There you go. Actually, there's only 4 here. And after that, for the spawn, you can just kill 2. And the quest is done. So do this until you reach level 91. And after that, you can now go to the snow village. I Sorry, frozen village. Don't forget to buy all the skills here. Sky jump, flash step, and enhancement. So I think your money is enough. And go directly to the next quest. Defeats 7 Snow Bandits. You can lure 5 at a time and it's very easy to locate them. When you reach 100, you can start defeating the Snowman. But guys, I suggest just level up here in the Bandits. Because Snowman, you need to defeat 10 and only 4 Snowmans uh, spawn at a time. So you need like uh, 3 sets to finish a quest which is kind of long for me. Okay, so at level 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. There you go. So the moment you have a chance to do that, just keep on doing it because it gives a lot of experience. When you reach level 121, you can now go to the next island which is here, the Marine Ford. There you go, you can start the quest by defeating the petty uh, the chief petty officers. So you need to lure two at a time, defeat them, and you just use your light flight. 
go to the other side of the island and defeat two. This is kind of tiring in a way because the mobs are far apart but by doing it you can level up faster. Okay, so now when you reach level 130, you can now start defeating the Vice Admiral. How do you do it? Easy. There you go, just lure it here. Oh, avoid using the Light Kick if you don't want him to hit you with the long range technique of his. There you go. Okay, so just keep on doing this until you defeat him and go back to the officers. And when you reach level 150, Yes, 150, 151, you can now go to this island, which is the Skylands. So, guys, this island is very easy to grind. The mobs here are very easy to grind. There you go. You need to defeat seven. Uh, there are four Sky Bandits here, but one is missing, I think. Let's check it out. Let's look for it. There you go. So, guys, you need to defeat uh, seven to finish a quest, and that's kind of easy. Sorry if you, again... Here, a holy glig. I live in a farm. So there you go. So just keep on doing it until you reach 181, and you can now start defeating the dark masters. There you go. Again, you need to defeat eight. So lure four at a time. Oh, but there's just four here, and two sets of dark masters will make you finish the quest. Okay. So do this until you reach 227 and after reaching that time to go to the Colosseum and defeat Toga Warriors. Why 227? Again, that is a time that you can activate the effect of your Logia fruit. So you can lure 5 here but you just need to lure 4 to finish it in 2 sets but I prefer doing that. Luring 5. There you go. 4 more XP. XP, EXP. There you go. Guys, just do this. Be patient. Okay, so when you reach level 275, you can now start defeating the gladiators. There you go. So Gamer now, I've noticed that you haven't used the codes yet. Yes, guys, we still have lots of uh, free 2 two times codes. But I won't be using it here because it's very easy to level up. Don't worry, I will tell you when to use it later. For the codes... I will put the link on the description. Okay, it's very easy to find them. So here you go in the Magma Village. When you reach 304, you can start defeating the military soldiers. Guys, here, you can start using the codes here. Again, I will put the link in the description of the codes. This is how you lure five at a time. There you go. As you can see, I'm luring five. Because you need nine. Okay, you need nine to defeat or finish the quest. So luring five will help you finish the quest in just two sets okay so when you reach 330 you can now defeat the military spies here guys all of them has hacky the previous mob there's just a chance that it will spawn with a hacky but here they can hit you all of them can hit you so make sure to keep dodging etc and but the good thing with this mob is that it is easier to defeat it has lower hp i guess so when you reach the level 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. 350 or 375, correct me if I'm wrong. So guys, in defeating bosses, you just need to like dodge sideways. There you go. After a, a skill, dodge sideways until the enemy uses a skill. There you go. But you need to increase your strength and defense stats, not just your Devil Fruit stats, okay? So when you reach 383, you can now start in the Underwater City. So start by defeating... 8 Fishman Warriors. It's very easy to lure them. Again, if you go to this area, 383, your Logia is in effect. So there you go. Just keep on defeating the mobs here until you reach uh, 405. Now we can start defeating the Fishman Commandos. Again, you need to defeat uh, 9 here, so you need to lure 5 at a time. You can lure 6 here, but 5 is enough. 1, 2, 3, and 2 more here. There you go. Okay, so you need to defeat 5 at a time for you to be more efficient. Okay. There you go. So now when you reach 425, you can now start defeating the Fishman Lord. Again, the dash or the dodge to the side is effective here, but guys, make sure to attack him. Don't wait for it to attack or 
and keep on dodging because the HP of this boss might, re might regenerate. Same goes for the other bosses. Okay, so make sure to cycle your skills. So when you reach 458, you can now go back to the Skylands. There you go, and defeat the God's Guard. It's kind of easy here again. Again, we use codes in the Magma Village, right? So here you don't need to use codes. You don't need to use codes on the next map. There you go, map, map, sort of map, map. Okay. There you go, you can lure 6 at a time. You need 7, I don't know. <laughs> the developers made it harder here. You need to, to wait for them to spawn again, just to finish one quest. You can use your C skill to go to this area and start defeating the Shandas at level 485. So again guys, Lightfruit is one of the best and easiest fruit to level up. So for beginners, I suggest that you get this. There you go. Okay, so when you reach level 500, you can start defeating the Whisper. Again, the skill here, the, the uh, side dash is very effective. Dash, skill, wait for it to attack and skill. And there you go. Time to go back to the Shandas. Okay, and when you reach 535, you can start defeating the Royal Guards. Uh, sorry, Royal Squads. Again, this is how you lure them. Five at a time is fine, is good, but four at a time is enough. Because you need eight, so two sets again to finish a quest, and there you go. Guys, we're already in level 500. It's almost done. Guys, how about you comment it on the comment section? How long did it took you to finish the first C? So after that, you can now, when you reach 5, 6, you can lure the royal soldiers. You start defeating them. So I suggest here you lure 3 and then 2 and wait for the uh, previous 3 to spawn and finish it because you need 8. If you try to lure 4 at a time, it's kind they're kind of far apart and there's lots of obstacles here. So I don't suggest that. Again, 3, 2, 3. Okay? Okay, so when you reach level 575, five, you can start defeating this dude, the Thunder God. Guys, again, you can use the dash to the side, but make sure that you have lots of energy. And to increase your energy, I think you need to increase your strength, right? Not the defense. Okay, so do this. Kill the bosses, kill the guards, until you reach 637. And defeat the galley pirates. Guys, use all the codes here. Okay? And just defeat the galley pirates. I don't suggest the other one, the other mob here, because... All of them has hockey and they're kind of strong. So I suggest this, the easier way. Lure 4 at a time, defeat them, and for 2 sets, there you go, you can finish a quest. Guys, if you have the code, you can level up twice for a quest, okay? And then last one, I really timed this part. Uh, at 699, I will defeat Frankie, the cyborg, to reach level 700. And there you go, we're good. Now you can talk to the detective at the prison and fell down. Guys, if you notice, I did not defeat the bosses here because it's just a waste of time in a way. Because I'm just here for the grind. I'm just showing how to grind. And after talking to the military detective, you just need to go here. There you go. And don't forget the key, guys. Okay? Don't go in this village. This, this is a snow village or the ice village. And you can... See the Ice Admiral here and defeat him. Again, the dodge to the side is very effective. There you go. Okay. So, Gamer Room, you can get Observation Hockey to make it easier. Guys, uh, maybe on the next video, but I don't need that, to be honest. In this guide, okay? Don't mind the cat. <laughs> okay, now after that, talk to the detective and go to the middle city and talk to the experienced captain. And we're good. We're done with this video. We've reached second C. So how about this video, guys? Do you like it? You want more guides? Do you have requests? Comment it on the comment section. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. I'm gonna feed the cat now. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.